Hey, friends, you're going to draw a cool ice cream cone. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. We're drawing ice cream with sunglasses, like it's ready for summer. Yes. Well, hopefully it doesn't melt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies, and you also need some? Paper. Paper. And, and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> because we're drawing and coloring with markers, we're also drawing on marker paper. And I love this brand, Canson, because it works really well for protecting your table. The marker doesn't soak through as easily. Yeah. And also, it makes your markers last much longer when you use marker paper. Yes. So it, versus using regular printer paper, the regular paper soaks up the ink really fast and a lot. So it dries your markers out quickly. That's why we like using marker paper. Okay, now let's draw our sunglasses first. And we're gonna draw two different sunglasses. I'm gonna show you how to draw one style and I'll draw a different style. So on mine, I'm gonna, the first step I'm gonna draw is a line straight across. Now you draw, well, you're gonna draw something a little bit different. So I'm, I'm gonna draw a little bit above halfway this way, but also right in the middle. And on yours, let's draw the lenses first. And we're gonna draw two circles. Yes, there you go. And then draw another circle, leave a little space, and then draw another circle the same size. Yeah, you did it. That's awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the outside of my sunglasses. I'm gonna start, let's see, I need to draw a little guide point right here in the middle. I'm gonna split with my eyes. I'm gonna, you don't have to. I'm gonna do this one different. Yeah. <laughs> This one, I'm going to draw the outside first. So I'm going to first draw two short lines on the outside. And then I'm going to come in just a little bit on the other side. So our friends could also wait till we're done with this step and then rewind to decide which sunglasses they want to draw if they haven't already started. <laughs> so now I'm going to draw the lens or the outside of the lens. I'm going to come around like this, come back up, and then I'm going to come around for the other side. So that little guide point in the middle helped tell me where I needed to come back up for the nose piece. Okay, on yours, let's first draw a line right in the middle, but don't connect the glasses yet. Yep, and then draw another line right below it that matches. Okay, cool. Now start here on this side. You're going to trace around and come all the way back to here. That's awesome. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing right here, but you're going to start on this side and go around this way and connect to the bottom. Oh, I love your sunglasses. They're so awesome. You did a good job. Thank you. And how old are you? Six. Six. You could be super proud of your cool glasses. Yes, I am. Oh, good. <laughs> now I need to finish mine. I'm going to draw the lenses inside, so I'm going to follow around the bottom part first on the left side. And then when I get to here, I'm gonna draw the top connecting. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I drew mine in a different order than you drew yours. You drew the lenses first, and then I drew the lenses last. Okay, now, oh, I'm gonna also add a little detail here and here. Okay, now let's draw the ice cream. Should we yes. start with the ice cream or should we start with the cone? The cone. The cone, okay, let's do it. First, Let's draw a little wiggly line in between the two lenses. This is for the bottom of the ice cream, actually. Now let's draw the cone. We're gonna draw two short lines down from each side. So one here and one over here. Yep. And then we're gonna connect those together. That's the first layer of the cone. Then we're gonna draw the second layer or the main part we're gonna come down, oh, my cone is really wide. <laughs> I'm gonna come down so it's even bigger and gets a little smaller down at the bottom. There we go. And you could start here and then you could come down to there maybe. And then on here, you could start, come down to there. Yeah, and then let's connect the bottom to finish the cone. Now should we do the ice cream? Yes. Okay, good. Let's start here and we're gonna draw, uh, let's just draw a short, curve on each side. So coming up from here and coming up from here. So that's kind of the first layer of our ice cream. Let's add a second layer and I'm going to start by drawing, it almost looks like a melting wiggly line that chocolate. connects. Oh, it could be chocolate, yes. <laughs> and then let's draw the top of the ice cream. I'm going to draw two little bumps like this. Oh, that could be chocolate or ice cream. Oh, I love your 
course, and then you're gonna come up on this side, and then let's draw the top connecting like that. Yes, around and down. Oh, you have so much ice cream. <laughs> now, let's also add a cherry on top. That would be really tasty, huh? Num, num. I'm gonna draw a little circle that's kind of part of a circle because it's inside of the ice cream. Then we can draw the stem coming out. Should we add a few sprinkles? Yes! Okay, let's add little rectangle shapes on top of our ice cream. And we can change the direction. Look, I'm changing, this one's pointed this way, this one's pointed that way. And you can turn all of the sprinkles so it looks like you dropped them or sprinkled them on top. Yeah. What's our ice cream missing? A mouth. A mouth. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's draw a little mouth right here. Oh, I'm going to draw it bigger and open. I'm going to draw it like this, coming around. <laughs> and you can draw a different mouth. I'm going to draw little teeth, too, inside. And then I'm going to color the bottom part. <laughs> oh, I like yours. It's kind of smiling off to the side. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our cool ice cream. Except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, we still need to color it. And it's going to look so much better all colored in. It'll even look more tasty, too. Yes. This part will speed up, but you guys can pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. And you can color your drawings any way you want. You don't have to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yeah, you are. Yeah, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cool ice cream, and yours is especially super cool. Thank you. I like yours too. <laughs> Thanks. And I really like how big your sunglasses are, <laughs> and I also like the reflection. Thank the, you. The shiny part on the lens. And you can add even more things to your drawing. I added melted puddles around mine, and also a cherry that fell down. <laughs> No, you could also add a background. Oh yeah, you could maybe draw your ice cream at the beach and maybe the ocean is in the background. Ooh. Ooh, and some palm trees. You can also add some butterflies. Oh, and a rainbow. We hope you have fun drawing cool ice cream. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to add more things to your drawing. I especially love that our two drawings look different and they both turned out awesome. That's because... The most important thing to have fun and practice. Yeah, to have fun and practice. <laughs> We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.